Oh, you missed it. There it is. <laughs> Whatever. Jess, come on. Jess. I want to smell something. All right, so let's just work on this guy here. And, uh, what I'm doing was, because the plastic always breaks, get you in light here, plastic always breaks off here, so I put some hot schmoo on there, it seems to have stiffened it up a bit, because other than that, she's in good shape, but anyways, she got something neat. So this is a speaker, without the magnet, so I'll put that there. Connect this music playing on it right now. So there's no, you can't hear anything, right? Well, this is really neat. Now you can hear there's no music coming out of it. Now, as soon as I get the magnet even close to it, weird, eh? Science. So the next thing I've been meaning to do was, uh, one thing that's always bugged me about the car, is how tinted windows. It actually makes a big difference in the summer, so, especially when you get those dogs in there, like, whew. And I just like the privacy of it, but, uh, anyways, I didn't feel like spending 350 bucks. And I've got it done professionally before, but in a couple of my beaters I did it myself, and it's actually not really that hard if you know what you're doing. It's not one of those things where you have bubbles like everybody else, so. The, fil the film came in, I got enough to do the car and the camper. Probably give the camper a facelift, but uh, anyways, first of all, I gotta get rid of all the uh, lovely dog nose art on the windows. Alright, so, let's put a little YouTube in there. I'm gonna clean the window. Apparently, these guys don't like Windex, but these windows are pretty dirty, so I think we're gonna start with that. Well, Operation Tint Kia, mm, not bad. Definitely looks a lot nicer. Obviously, I had some issues here. Didn't have enough to do the back window. But yeah, overall, I'm happy how it came out. This one here is pretty good. This one is just a mess. But that's mainly because the wind caught it. 
because somebody decided to do this when it was windy out. But that's only one window that has to be done. But other than that, pretty happy with it. All right, so around here with all these little chargers and all kinds of fun stuff, power bars are in short supply, especially ones that uh, have space for like a you know big power pack. And these guys come in super handy. I've got a couple of them, but uh, this guy here, for whatever reason, just light comes on when you plug it in. But uh, nothing. So, like I've said before, if it's already broke, you can't break it twice. So I'm going to rip her apart, see if we can find out what her malfunction is. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> oh, oh, oh dear, that's some, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's quite the solder job. My goodness, some first year apprentice on that one. Here. Oh, we got some more screws. You want to go? Want to go camp? You talking? You want to go camp? You want to go camp? Okay, let's go.